It is day seven of Vlogmas. It is Monday and I love Mondays. It is a fresh start. I don't think I loved them as much when I worked in an office, but I definitely love them now that I work at home. It is a fresh start, a clean slate, and it is already 3.30. It has been a really productive day. I'm feeling so good about it. There is nothing like a clean house and freshly mopped floors. I've been cleaning the main floor and the upstairs almost all day. I scrubbed the bathrooms, I washed the floors, I did it all. I've been using Water Bleach and Tide, which is the whole Go Clean Co thing. I mentioned it in a vlog a few months ago. I am loving it. My house is sparkling and it feels so good, I think. With all of the crazy that has been happening in 2020, I think cleaning is just a way to have a little bit of control, which makes me feel better. So the house is cleaned. I've started laundry. Um, I've watered my plants. I made shipping labels this morning and started organizing for a little shipping session this afternoon. I had some orders over the weekend that I'm just packing up and will probably drop off to ship tomorrow. I'm getting a few packages ready for some friends, the last of my Christmas gifts to mail out, and I'm feeling really good about it. I also finally made some progress on my Advent socks, which makes me feel so much better. I was hoping to finish a sleeve on my Felix sweater yesterday, but I decided late last night that maybe I should just work on my socks because I was starting to feel behind and I don't really like that feeling. So I think I've I think I'm on the fifth stripe of my first sock, which is really fun. And once I pass the rib cuff, it is flying. So I think I'm going to set it aside and do the rib on the second sock and get that moving. And hopefully this week I will catch up to having one stripe per day on two socks. That is my plan. And it seems to be working so far. A little bit of knitting squeezed into my days is making me feel so much better. So I am going to continue my shipping and packing here and check in with you in a little while. Today has been a little bit uneventful for vlogging, but I did just go to my mailbox down the street and found a few packages which were very exciting to me. And I thought, why not share? Because they might be exciting to you too. So I had seen this really cute um, tin of playing cards on a website recently. I had them in my cart, but then they were sold out. And so I did a little search and I found them at a store. I think it's a small shop in Ottawa. It's called The Gifted Type and it was so easy to order for them. They were super efficient and shipped it right away. It came really quickly and they even sent a cute little button. I really like that. So I got these Donut Lovers playing cards. I love anything in a tin and I don't really love playing cards, but James does. And I thought these might be fun to play with him over the holidays um, and make it a little prettier for me. I love that they're not red, they're pink, and they have all these different interesting um, donuts on them. So loving these. This was just a little, a little something. I did start a little basket on the main floor of a few games that we like. We're not really a board game family at all. But I did have a few things. Um, maybe I'll share those another time or if I go back downstairs, I can share those tonight actually. And I thought it would just be nice to have a few things stashed for 
this holiday season. If we get bored and we want to do something a little bit different, I might give it a try. Then there was a big sale at Sephora last week. I think it was last week. And I got a few things. Um, some of them are kind of replacements, like this is my absolute favorite blush brush from Bobbi Brown. I think it's just called Blush Brush. Um, and I've had one for so many years that it was completely wrecked. It was just all the hairs were really like frayed and broken and it was kind of, it had just lived out its course. So I picked up a new one of those because it's an absolute must have for my blush. I picked up my favorite powder, which is also Bobbi Brown. It's the Nude Finish Illuminating Powder. I get it in nude. I've got a whole bunch of samples that came. Oh, including this sample. And this is one of the eye creams. I have a couple that I rotate, but I've been using this eye cream. I have the full size one. So I got another, um, I think this was just a perk, like a hundred point perk. It's the Tatcha the Silk Peony Melting Eye Cream. I purchased this after having one of these little samples and really liking it and I'm happy with it. So another little sample and this was just kind of an I don't know. I used to use Bare Minerals many, many years ago and I did really like it. And so I just thought maybe with being home, just to kind of do a quick makeup in the morning, I thought I would give it a try again. I'm not sure. That might have been an impulse, but I also used to use their um, their bronzer, which is called Faux Tan, and I remember really liking this. So I got those. I'm not sure if I'm going to regret that or not, but that is my little Sephora haul. And I think it was during the Black Friday time, I was looking for a makeup bag. I actually got... Um, I ordered another one that hasn't come yet that is super pretty, but this one was such a good deal. It was on sale and I loved the color and um, I can't do it with one hand, but the sides snap down and kind of the whole thing will kind of open up. And I thought it would be really handy to kind of keep some of my messier products in like that Bare Minerals. Um, and then I can keep it on my makeup table. I'm not quite sure. It'd be great for traveling too, whenever we can do that again. And, oh, I didn't even mention, these are from Everlane. So um, I ordered the bag and I had been looking at this chore jacket on their website months ago and the color I had previously wanted was sold out but I love a good chore jacket. It is so cute and it's corduroy. And so I ended up getting this navy blue color. I think it's really pretty and I love corduroy. So I got myself this cute blue chore jacket from Everlane and that really fun makeup bag. And it kind of brightened up my day. I was thinking, we didn't get any packages today, but all of this came and it is very exciting. So I'm going to put my stuff away and I think I'm going to show you my little collection of, I don't even know if I call them games. They are games, but I'll show you. So I've gathered a few games and created this little basket here in my dining room, just in case anyone wants to play anything while we are all home and if anyone gets bored this winter. So I'm gonna add my cards here, but I'm not really a board game person. We do have a whole bunch of them in the basement, but because you need a few people, we don't really play them that often. We're not really a family of board game players, but James loves a good game. And so I thought this might be fun. The one thing that I do love is playing Tenzi. It's just a really simple game with dice. And so I thought I'll put that in a basket. I threw in our Bananagrams. I had this little Munchkin set that we never even played. I think Camden got that for Christmas like 10 years ago. 
I threw in my art oracle cards, which are kind of fun. I got these from Wonder Pens, which is a shop in Toronto, but they have a great website. It's where I get a lot of my fountain pens and stationery. I can't get that open with one hand, but I will try to open that. And Camden got this for Christmas last year again. No one has played it, but I thought this might be the year. We've got an electronic battleship here and these are all just waiting to keep people busy this winter. These are the Art Oracle cards. I kind of love them. They just have the name of an artist, a really interesting illustration and um, a few little things on the card that could inspire you to do a journal page or I just think they're fun to look at. So. I kept those in here too, just in case anyone wanted to pick them up and have a look.